Welcome, and congratulations on your choice of the new Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme Bread Maker. With your Home Bakery Supreme, you'll be baking fresh, healthy bread for you and your entire family whenever you want. And it takes only minutes to prepare. Even more, you don't need to know anything about baking. I'm going to show you how to get started. So let's begin with a quick tour. This is the control panel. This is where you select the course, like basic or jam. It lets you choose the crust from light, medium, and dark. And it also sets the timer up to 13 hours. The lid opens easily with the handy lip. Inside, you'll find the baking pan. Hold the baking pan at the sides and pull it towards you. Then lift up on the pan to remove it. Remember to use hot pads or oven mitts when the pan is hot. The baking pan has two kneading blades. They mix the ingredients thoroughly and knead the dough to perfection. Your Home Bakery Supreme comes with a measuring cup and spoon. Accurate measurements are very important when using an automatic bread maker. The cup is for measuring liquids. Fill it to the brim and that's a cup. The handy spoon measures one tablespoon on the large end and one teaspoon on the smaller end. The line around the middle is a half teaspoon on the smaller end and a half tablespoon on the larger end. You can find this information on page 7 of your instruction manual. That's our quick tour of your Home Bakery Supreme. Now let's go over some basic safety precautions. To ensure that you have years of continuous use, there are a few basic safety precautions you must follow. Just like any electrical appliance, read the instruction manual thoroughly before operating. Make sure to keep the plug and cord away from water and unplug the home bakery when you're not using it. While baking, the home bakery gets very hot. Avoid touching the outside, especially these steam vents on the lid. Never allow children to use the home bakery without adult supervision. Don't place your home bakery near sources of heat, such as gas, electric stoves, ovens, or burners, or near sources of drafts, such as windows, air conditioners, or doors. Bread is very sensitive to external temperatures, and your baking may be less than perfect if you don't follow these precautions. Finally, do not immerse the baking pan in water or scrub it with steel wool. Instead, to clean it, fill the baking pan with warm, soapy water and let it soak. Then discard the water and scrub the inside with a wet sponge. Rinse the baking pan with warm water, then discard the rinse water. Please read the important safeguards section on page three of your instruction manual for all of the safety precautions. Keeping to the safeguards will ensure years of safe use with your Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme. Now it's time to bake your first bread in your Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme. We're going to make a loaf of basic white bread. You'll find these instructions on pages 9 through 13 of your manual. Open the lid and grasp the baking pan at the sides and pull it towards you. This will unlatch the locking spring. Then lift up on the pan to take it out. Attach a kneading blade to each of the rotating shafts and make sure they sit at the bottom of the baking pan. The kneading blades are attached correctly if the top of the rotating shaft is level with the kneading blade. Don't worry if they're a little loose. They're designed that way. Now you're ready to measure your ingredients. To bake well, you need to measure very accurately. For liquids, use the plastic cup that came with your home bakery, or a clear glass measuring cup. To measure dry ingredients, use a set of nested measuring cups, which can be either plastic or metal. First, we'll measure the water. Put the cup on a level surface and fill it to the amount required in your recipe. For basic white bread, it's one and one third cups.
Look to make sure you have the exact amount, and then pour the water in the baking pan. Now comes the main ingredient, flour. It's best to use fresh bread flour. Take your nested measuring cup and fill it with flour using a spoon. Then using the back side of a knife, level it off. Don't pack the flour into the cup or sift the flour. Also, don't use the nested measuring cup to scoop the flour from the bag. If you pack the flour too much, your loaf may turn out short or heavy. Just gently spoon it into the cup. Measure four and one quarter cups of bread flour and gently pour it in the baking pan. Don't dump it in the baking pan. Pour it in slowly and smoothly. Following the recipe on page 12, we'll add the ingredients in the order listed. Next is sugar. For basic white bread, it's four tablespoons. Use the measuring spoon that came with your home bakery and level off. Next, add two tablespoons of dry milk. Then add two teaspoons of salt. Next, add unsalted butter, which should be at room temperature. Usually there are measurements printed on the wrapper that tell you how much butter you're cutting off. Cut off just enough and drop it into the baking pan. For this recipe, it's two and a half tablespoons. The last ingredient is always the yeast. It is very important that you use fresh yeast. Outdated yeast may not do its job of making the bread rise. You can use active dry yeast that is in a jar or in a package. Check the expiration date on the package for freshness. Measure two teaspoons in your measuring spoon and level it off with a knife. Now, in the middle of the baking pan, make a little indentation with a spoon. And place the yeast there so that the yeast doesn't come in contact with the liquid sugar or salt. If it does, the bread may not rise well. You'll see that we've been making layers here. Liquids on the bottom, dry ingredients in the middle, and the yeast on top. This is the order you'll almost always follow when making bread or dough. Now place the baking pan inside the home bakery. Push down to lock it in place. You'll feel the baking pan lock in place and it should be securely seated. Close the lid. When you plug in the home bakery, Notice that the control panel shows a blinking number, three hours and 45 minutes. Make sure the setting is on basic. Press the crust control button here to choose the crust you prefer, light, medium, or dark. Now press the start reset button. The red operation light will turn on and the home bakery will begin its work. The first 20 to 30 minutes is a preheating cycle. About 33 to 43 minutes after pressing the start reset button, the home bakery will beep. This is when you may add other ingredients to your dough, such as raisins, dried fruit, or nuts. We won't be doing that here since we are just making a basic bread. After three hours and 45 minutes, the home bakery beeps to let you know that your bread is finished baking.
but you'll already know that by the delicious aroma of your homemade bread. The home bakery will keep your bread warm for an additional 60 minutes, unless the start reset button is pressed. However, it's recommended to take the bread out right after the baking has been completed. Letting it sit too long may allow it to get soggy. Press the start reset button and open the lid to remove the baking pan. Always use oven mitts or hot pads when handling the hot baking pan or hot bread. Gently shake the bread out onto a cooling rack. If the bread is difficult to remove, wiggle the wing nuts underneath the baking pan. Don't turn it too much though, or it might make a big hole at the bottom of your bread. If one or both of the kneading blades are stuck in the bottom of the loaf, pull it out by using a plastic utensil, such as a spatula, before slicing. Don't use metal because it could scratch the coating on the blade. Be careful, the blades may be very hot, so wear oven mitts or hot pads. You're done! Now wasn't that easy? See pages 12 and 13 for more bread recipes. To bake whole grain bread, see pages 14 through 16 and make sure you use the wheat course. Now that you know how to make basic bread, let's take it a step further and learn how to delay baking times so that you can have hot, fresh bread at a later time, in the morning when you wake up, or waiting for you when you come home from work or school. The timer can be used for basic wheat, dough, and homemade courses to delay baking for up to 13 hours. Remember that when you use the timer, you don't want to use perishable ingredients such as milk or eggs, as they may spoil during the waiting time. After you have filled the baking pan with the ingredients, put the baking pan inside and close the lid. Press the select course button to choose from basic, wheat, dough, or homemade course. Let's say it's 12 noon right now, and I'd like my bread to be ready at 7 p.m. That's seven hours from now, so I'll set the timer to seven hours. Press the timer button to increase the time in 10 minute increments. You can hold the button to make it scroll faster. There. Now we're ready for the last step, which is simply to press the start reset button. Make sure that the operation light turns on. My fresh hot bread will be waiting for me at 7 p.m. Do you want to bake your bread more quickly than the basic course of three hours and 45 minutes? With your Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme, you can bake the same delicious bread in a little over two hours by using the quick course. You prepare your bread just as you normally would, but with two exceptions. Make sure you keep note. First, when you add the yeast, you will add rapid rise yeast. And second, you will use the quick course. That's all there is to it. The quick setting can also be selected for wheat and dough courses. For complete quick baking instructions, See pages 9 through 13 of your manual. What if you just want to make dough? Perhaps for making fresh pizza, flaky croissants, soft pretzels, breadsticks, or delicious rolls, and bake them in your oven. Your Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme does that beautifully too. Refer to pages 17 through 20 of your manual for the instructions and recipes. Prepare your ingredients as usual in your baking pan, place it in your home bakery, and start the dough course. In about 25 to 40 minutes, you will hear a beep.
This means it's time for you to add any ingredients into the dough. For basic dough, the process takes an hour and 50 minutes. For quick dough, you will use rapid rise yeast and it will be ready in 45 minutes. Remove the dough. Remove the kneading blade if it comes along with the dough. Turn it out onto a lightly floured surface and shape your dough as you like. Making fresh fruit jam is easy with the home bakery. In about an hour and 20 minutes, you can take fruit from the store, from your yard, or the farmer's market and make delicious preservative-free jam. You'll be starting as usual, consulting the recipes on page 21 of your manual, and then adding the ingredients in the order listed. Be sure to measure out your fruit after it's been crushed. Place the baking pan inside the home bakery. And use the select course button to choose the jam course. Press Start Reset, and in just one hour and 20 minutes, you'll have fresh jam. When the operation light turns off, press the Start Reset button. Use hot pads or oven mitts to remove the baking pan. Pour the jam into a refrigerator or freezer container, leaving about one half inch of space at the top. Cover and store in a refrigerator or freezer to allow the jam to thicken. Now it's time to bake a cake. Start with a box of your favorite cake mix. Put eggs and liquid into the baking pan first. Then pour the cake mix into the baking pan. After you place the baking pan inside the home bakery, use the select course button to choose the cake course. Use the crust control button to select light, medium, or dark. Press the start reset button. When it beeps after 11 minutes, open the lid and using a rubber spatula, gently push down any flour on the sides of the baking pan. If there are any additional ingredients to add to your recipe, this is your chance to do it. In about two hours, the operation light will turn off. Press and hold the Start Reset button. Remove the baking pan and slide the cake out. Now cakes are by nature more fragile than breads, so we recommend you remove the cake after the baking pan has cooled. Now let's prepare some light sourdough starter. Sourdough starter is unique because it is naturally leavened. The ingredients are one and one half cups water, two cups bread flour, and two teaspoons active dry yeast. Put these ingredients into the baking pan in layers. Water first, then flour, and finally the yeast on top. Use the select course button to choose sourdough starter.
and press the Start Reset button. When it's done, the starter will look bubbly and frothy. To turn the starter into sourdough bread, remove the baking pan, add the rest of the sourdough bread ingredients, fit the pan back into the home bakery, and use the basic course to bake. Please see pages 24 and 25 for complete sourdough bread baking instructions. Another unique feature of your Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme is the homemade menu memory. By using this setting, you can store up to three of your favorite bread baking processes in the home bakery. Press the select course button so the arrow points to homemade. Then press the cycle button and the first cycle, preheat, will show in the control panel. Press the time button to program the preheating time you prefer. Then press the cycle button to store that time in the memory. Press the cycle button again and the next cycle, need, will appear. Press the time button to program the kneading time you prefer. Then press cycle to store in memory. Follow the same procedure for programming the rising and baking times. Then you can program the home bakery to keep your bread warm for an additional 60 minutes. Or you can program to shut off after baking. Press the start reset button and the total time will appear on the control panel. Press the Start Reset button again, and the home bakery will start to operate. To terminate a cycle, press the Time button during any cycle, and the control panel will show the time and name of that cycle. Press the Cycle button within five seconds of pressing the Time button. The cycle will be terminated, and the next cycle will begin. The last cycle times you have programmed into the memory will stay in the memory even when you unplug the home bakery. The Home Bakery Supreme can store up to three settings. Just read the instructions on pages 26 and 27 for complete details. I know you won't believe this, but your Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme can also make a main course. Let's make a meatloaf miracle. Following the recipe on page 28, combine the ingredients in a large mixing bowl and mix well. Remove the pan from the home bakery, take out the kneading blades, and put the meatloaf mixture into the baking pan. Place the pan back into the home bakery. Select homemade, and press the cycle button to turn off all cycles except the bake cycle. Set the bake cycle to one hour and 10 minutes. And press the start reset button twice to start baking. While your meatloaf bakes, make the glaze by mixing all the ingredients together in a small bowl. 30 minutes before the meatloaf is finished baking, open the lid. Spread the glaze onto the top of the meatloaf and close the lid again. Let the meatloaf finish baking and remove the baking pan to cool. Drain the juices and remove the meatloaf from the baking pan. 
Slice and serve your meatloaf miracle. Now you know how to use your Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme. The more often you bake, the better bakery you'll be. If your first loaf doesn't turn out perfectly, don't worry, you'll just keep on getting better. The secret to successful baking is fresh ingredients, accurate measuring, and following the instructions. You may have questions if your baking does not produce satisfactory results. In that case, your manual contains a very comprehensive troubleshooting guide for the most common problems. For more information, go to www.zojirushi.com. Also, you may call Zojirushi Customer Service at the toll-free number at the bottom of the screen, and they will be happy to help guide you to more successful baking. Thank you for taking the time to learn about your new Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme. We wish you many years of happy baking.